Hello folks, and welcome to Delusion, map created by Norblin, creator who bought you the FS09 Island. And yeah, this is going to be a map tour, and this is going to be my first map tour in a while, if not in FS22. But it makes us get cracking in, so what we do first of all is description. It is 557.3 megabytes to download. There are six required mods, the Amazon DB30 by Orstry, the New Holland TX30 by Giant Software, V-Small Vehicle Workshop by Vanquish081, the Deutsch Shed Pack by Refarber DM20MM Normandy, the Fence Wall and Gate by Mickey Mapper, and lastly, the Double Rod Mat Fence Pack by Agar Modin Ost. So yeah, description as is following. Welcome to Delusion. It's a very heavy map, so challenge yourself and machines. The map is pretty simple, but feels spacious thanks to all the cell points around the four edges of the map. Fields are medium and large sizes, so they will have no problem for big machinery. The map has 127 fields, including meadows, three places to create your own farm, We'll have a look at that in a bit. BGA, sawmill, four Bible forest areas, a very heated terrain with some very nice undulations, and lastly, a spines on dirt roads for helper to deliver goods straight from the field. And that's one thing we'll also get into later on because I have been doing a little bit of testing here, and yeah, for AI, they do work really well on this map so. Where are we and what do we start off with? So, here we are, it's the PDA, and as you can see, these are some nice, very worker friendly fields. Some, again, large ones down here, and we get to some more the medium sized fields. So, if we press L3, we've got 42 and 18. This is what we start with on New Farmer. Slot count, if we have a look is 1,223 slots and that is the same for start from scratch which gives them to just 1,201 slots you still have the equipment but if you remove all the equipment the slot count goes down to 1,073 so yeah what I'm going to do is we'll go around have a look around some of these cell points have a look at some of these nice fields because yeah just driving around is some beautiful hills but yeah what do we start off with so got a sleeping trigger here we got a shed a silo and a workshop that's it for stuff and if you open these sheds we'll have a look at so Got the New Holland Harvester, Tractor, a Pickup, a Plow, Cedar, and a Trader. Not much else. And we have over here, we've got a chicken pen. I can hold 30 chickens. So, looking at the equipment into more detail. For small tractors, we got with the Zeter Proxima H590. For the Harvesters, New Holland TX32 as part of the mod. The Lizard Pickup 2017, the Wegler DK115, the TX32 Trailer, the Ponger Servo 25, for Cultivators we got the Arabi EG3-9, and lastly we got the Amazon DB30 Slider as part of a, another required mod. So. There are collectibles on this map, there are 20 to be found. Contracts are available. I start off with, you do have a variety of options. And for some of these fields are decently priced, such as Field 99, and just shy off 11 grand, so not too bad. So let's have a beer. We'll open this. And as we go around, you will see. This is a vibrant map and it's actually very active as we go around here. You see, rather than a lot of maps, you'll see where it is just on your 
road. Apart from the air traffic, there's not much else going on. Yeah, if we just pull over here a sec. Turn the engine off. Sorry. As you go around this map, you'll see, again, little Dutch sheds and that, like, sort of kind Dutch or Polish buildings. And as we go around, you'll see, yeah, these are just placeable objects, but it creates that vibrancy, like, this is just a very small one. Tractor, bit of rubble and that. More rubble, a bicycle, wood chipper. Is that a wood chipper? Yeah, it looks like a wood chipper. Obviously these aren't like new anime fixtures or anything, they're just static placeables, but yeah, it creates that sense of community. So anyways, what we do is, we'll start off here, so we're heading down this road. The next what we'll do is we'll head up to the Debris Crusher livestock market and that. Then we'll go ahead down here. Loop around, and eventually we'll end, go past the shop, and then up to the cell point by mass heat plant and cell point for potatoes. Yeah, just going around like you see, very heating out on our right, and that's going to be pretty much the theme of the map. Just going a bit too fast, but yeah, just sort of show you what I mean. Like, this is a bit more active area. So, you've got trader, you've got mowers, you've got plows, cultivators. You could if they were functional and working, but oh, you could just match them. But that is a beaut. That's one thing I like to see on maps it's just that, again, sense of vibrancy, activeness, community. Anyways, we'll head up here, so we'll turn right. And as we head away from the buildings, and away from the like, more densely civilized, this is where you get all your undulating fields. And yeah, that means equipment's going to be a challenge. Like, let's say if I. Now that requires a hundred horsepower. I'll say, just to be safe, maybe the class a hundred and fifty horsepower at least. Because yeah, when you get into some of these hills and out these terrains, you will find it difficult. So here we are at our first of four main cell points. So park up here. And there we go. So yeah, here we are, we've got the Debris Crusher. This is our... Was it Bell Cell Point? Yeah, Livestock Market, Ube Room. So this is where... Assuming, like, your... Yeah, your TMR and that. Yeah, TMR, silage and all that, that's where you'll set it. Whether that is by my seat plant or the sawmill, we'll look at that in a bit as we go around. So, yep, yeah, got Debris Crusher. And also, you got a line fill point. So, yeah, not too bad. Haven't seen those for a while on some maps. So, and yeah, this is going to be one of your four main cell points, which will take everything. And they do vary. It's not just the same building, they do vary. As you go around the corners, there's already there parked up. So yeah, what we do now is turn around, head back down, and then we head towards 62. So just heading out of here, so where we turn right to come in, we'll turn left, no, we turn right. So yeah, we head down 62, I'll we'll head down to 84 and that, on that bottom left corner. And as we go around, we will have a look at the farm areas you can have. So, where you start off with is one of your farm areas. The second one is where field 7 and 28 is. In between, there's an area there. And then towards the centre, so bottom of 50 and that, on the supermarket, which we'll look at in a bit. There is the 
preferred one, so yeah, space to create large farms on this map. It's going to be very difficult unless you want to do a lot of terraforming, which unless you're on PC with landscaping mods and that, it's going to be very expensive. And just all, just actually sort of slow down there for a sec. Just like, no, it's like, it's an absolute mod. Beauty in that. And when it comes to like, the borders and the boundaries, okay, yeah, we've got the hills and that, which does sort of help with the whole boundary issue. In the right way, no, not. Let's go up and around. But yeah, so if we just stop here for a sec, just have a look at that. That is an absolute beaut. So yeah, you tell like the hills and that, tell where the map ends and that, but even then it matches the area, it matches the scenery and the countryside. That's what we are right here in the old big old dense Percy cities. This is just in the outskirts in the old countryside land. Our life is a lot simpler, so Is down there. But head up here. And this is going to be one of our other main cell points. So there we go. Coming in. Hallway bridge. He was non functional. And this is going to be... Is it a cell point or a gr your green mill? Cell point through the looks of the green mill. There are production chains on the map, so if we have a look, so... Got your supermarket cell point. Got your restaurant, workshop and that, so you got your grape processing plant. Your spinnery. Forest market. Your dairy plant. Your sugar beet for sell point, and that's the BG over there. We will put some money in for that. Then you got your life salt market for Ube Rune, sell point four, sawmill, and yeah, we've just been up there, and that is pretty much it on that. So, yeah, hop back into the pickup, we'll head back around. Yeah, I think we'll head towards the more middle denser part of the map, where I'll show you one of the areas you can either create your own farm now, don't have to start where the game knows you in, start somewhere else, or something that I would recommend on this map is half multiple farmyards, where flat space is limited, even though you can buy Entirety of the map, like, including the peripheries and boundary. And as we go a bit too fast there. So, yeah, if we look at fuel prices and that, they're okay, pretty steep. Half a mil for some of these bigger fields. But yeah, you can go for the small ones, you're looking at 100 grand. 77 there for 97. And one thing I've noticed with at least me. On PlayStation 4 Pro, when I'm pressing R3 to select certain bits, like a field or whatever, there is a huge delay of it loading in, the map loading in, that functioning. Whether that's just me, a PS4 last gen console issue or what, I don't know. But I thought you just include that anyways. But yeah, so the periphery is purchasable, so. You can build, do whatever you want. You can get rid of all the hills and that and flat in a lot if you want to. Personally, I don't recommend it, but hey, that is an option for you. I think with something like that does help when it comes to, let's say, down here, when we're going to the town set, there are productions and salt points. And like, especially the production chains. If you don't want to use them, not planning on using them, 
could remove them, make it a yard or something, or rather simply just tear for it the way you want to, where it's add different products, chains or what. There is no limit to your imagination. But yeah, so anyways, as we head into the board, I'll say the denser area of this village and as we crash into the traffic. Thank you. Lovely making friends with the locals, you can tell that. Oh, yeah, especially when you run two positions in your bird. No one saw anything on that. But yeah, as we started cruising through the town and that. It's not a town, it's a village, I know. Yeah, it's again, got the slides off a vibrancy community that's activists. That ain't just like old equipment, these are like some modern equipment that's here, so. We can hop over. See, so yeah, I've got a huge plow. Got a Deutz Fahrer, Fat Guess, a 9 series, a Cultivator, and a Tether. And that's gonna be a Deutz Fahrer 6 or 7 series, Deutz Fahrer Combine, Trader. Yeah, that'd be a Deutz Fahrer 7, I think. 7, 6, or 5, I think it is. I think it's a 6. And the big boy would be a Deutz Far 9. Sorry. Again, just making friends with the locals. The possession is okay, I can get. You car on the other hand. Why can't you do anything? So. Actually, you know what? Let's head down there, real. We'll... Actually, this is where the other area behind this actually is. So. This is your second area that you can start. Yeah, let's go over here, make sure we're off the roads. So yeah, again, another little flat area. And that's what I mean by be smart when it comes to your choices of equipment, sheds, there's plenty of sheds out there, no. There's some by like black sheet modding, decent size and cheap. That's just what I can think of on top of my head, obviously. If you're playing this map, Again, it's be your idea, your creation, and all of that other good stuff. So, and just like to purchase this area, it ain't too bad. Forty grand there. Forty-two is fifty-eight, and one three four is the other area, which is the most cheapest at thirty-nine grand. So, yeah, or no, not too bad. You get what you paid for. And that is simply. Simplicity and they need the basics. So yeah, let's head up here, so we can PDA. So yeah, we'll head down here. I think this is the sawmill. Yeah, and I should sort of get out now. Sort of tell just the other nations, openness, the forestry areas, it's sort of they all sort of cohesiveness, all blends into one perfect unity. It's not too hilly everywhere constantly. It's not too many dense forests. And yeah, it's just perfect in a way. But yeah, here we are at the sawmill. Another production chain that you can buy. So head over here. 100 grand, so yeah, pretty similar to basically prices. We head over here. This is where you sell the wooden axe. Over here is where you'll collect your wood chips. And yeah, again, pod logs. Non animated barn sheds, but that's to be expected. Not a real complaint. Don't get me wrong, it'll be a more of a bonus feature, but a, not a fault. Nevertheless, it shouldn't be that way. So next we'll head up straight through the town and that town village. Straight through the village. And then we'll move around, go back down, 
and then finish off somewhere at Wharf. So next, what we'll do is we'll pull out of here, and this is where we get to some more our self points. So here we are, we've got the uh, supermarket. So stuff will go in there. And yeah, I do recommend you when you do brown so pretty much a drive in reverse out or ideally reverse in and then drive out. So yeah, actually we'll head up here then just cut down as we head up north. Where we bought the dealership, so actually this is quite an interesting thing. Do have another cell point? What's this one again? The restaurant. It's like pizza. New Palatine. Is it New. <laughs> New Puritan? Oh no, no, you pronounce that. Well, I've tried to go to that and botched it. But yeah, so you're a pizza cell point basically. And if you have the luckiest things like your eggs, if I had to guess, yeah, corn, grapes and that. So yeah, a bit of a foreign stuff. Let's get our pick up out of the ditch. We don't need that. But yeah, as I get distracted, when I came on, this caught my attention. It's like, what was it? Just sat you off. Ah, it's all the animals. So you've got your cows, your pigs, your horses. No, your sheep, sorry. Sheep, dog, and bees. Well, there's the horses. You forgot the horses there. Yeah, you've got your cows, pigs, sheep, dog. Can you climb up here? I'm sure, if I had to tell you, Andrew, you can. But yeah, it's that bird on top. Dog. Is that a horse? I don't know, but nevertheless, that is a absolute a beauty of a statue if I ever seen one. But anyways, here we are at the dealership. We're at the Ako Ustasia dealership. And again, the theme of Deutz Farms is very pretty different. Which makes sense again for the kind of area we're in. Also for the area in are these case Steiger tractors, so yeah, swivel axle, the non-tract variants. Oh, uh, we'll say the track variants are better, so it's like of action. But yeah, got all sorts of plows you can buy. Not really. Got your cultivators, cedars, more plows, traders. So yeah, this will be where you repair your vehicles anyway, so vehicle repair point is there. And I'll show you what I got here. So in front of the Echo Eustasia point. L3. That brings up your D-ship menu where you can buy, sell, do whatever as you may wish. And yeah, go around here. Nothing, just apart from garbage, ramps, you know, old tires, so yeah, pretty much scrap. Not scrap, or rubbish. Ooh, a little massy there. Is that a, what, 5 series? 5000 series? Anyways, getting distracted. Also gonna get distracted by that. There's a the of tractors in that around the yards. Okay, so next we'll head up to our next cell point. No, sorry, this is our production chain of the spinnery. across us some time. We've already got a few supply points, so want to fill up your vehicles while you go when you're down here. Or if you want to get a trailer in that to transport fuel that to the farm itself. You can do that as well. So yeah, next we've got again the spinnery to make your ball that and your great process some time. So if we go to here and we're to two so yeah, 60 grand, and if I had to guess, about 80 grand or so. Yeah, so these are your base game, just production stuff. 
not many Dutch, not Deutsch, uh, Dutch sheds I've seen. Despite it being a required mod, though. Yeah, I have no idea, but. So, yeah, next, what we do is open the map, just take in scenery, drive down to 102. Then we'll finish up at the north and then come back down towards the main farm. So next is your farmer's market, which is here on your left. And over here is your animal market for the bay room. So yeah, stuff goes in there, etc. And then it's your dairy, sorry. Or something else, but then that's your dairy plants. That's your forest market, now that's for sure. But so yeah, what's our exit area? You know, everywhere paths are spawn. That's why they completely wrong cell points. So yeah, next what we'll do is head down to the PGA because we need to put some money in in set. Just to have a look at what it offers us. So the entrance is here, so by 102. Entrance is here. A gate. Okay, I got your cell point for your root crops. And then you've got the BGA and just all sorts of stuff. So yep. Let's go and by this area, so BG is just further down, so by that sec, so yeah, let me put some money in and then we'll have a look at what it offers. And now we are at the BGA, so in order to have the BGA, you need to buy this plot here, so plot 133. That will cost you 630 grand, and once you buy that, you own everything. So, just so buy the plot separately, and then buy the BGA separately, or that, essentially, all or nothing. So, if we go over here, this is the BGA 99 kilowatts, so this is on the smaller end of biogas plants, but still does everything you need, so does your silage, process sensory manure and sugar bee cut to get your electric, digestate and methane. Your digestate you can store, sell or distribute if you want to add other productions down the road. However, the methane and electricity just get sold automatically on the hour, so there you go. Also over here, You've got your bunker side clamp, so you've got two huge, like, what, two four millimeter side clamps. Got your digestive output, and yeah, got your mortar shed, so like the ones we had at the main farm area to start off with. So you've got some areas down here to store equipment, like loaders, and I thought load bells in, or even tankers, transfer liquids and that, as and when you need it. So yeah, that is that. Now what we do is we head down here to the last livestock market Ubay Rune and sell point number four. So heading out of here, we'll take a straight to the left. So go past the BGA. And again, I know I've been sort of having it, but that is a nice undulating field size. And yeah, it's just 
just to come, as well as that's where, just get our horses around, just crack on, do what everyone wants to do. And just, yeah, chill out, put some music on, audio book, whatever it is you choose. Or just do the raw of the equipment, so yeah, it's a very chilled out map you can play on. So yeah, here is cell point number four. So you go in here and out there. So yeah, again, no space for large orders app, but I'm sure if you're a good enough driver and with the correct trailer you can make anything work. Then you like the market where you buy your animals, so we'll pop into here. I do like you've got the massive cow, the massive bull, has a sort of, here is the animal deer ship. So there we go, got your chickens, and also you can add some more animals if you put animals and pens down, as and when you wish. So yeah, that is that. Next, what we do is pretty much head up north to the last cell point. But rather than taking the main road, let's take the path. So before we go at the end of the map tour, we will have a look at that centre area. That's when it properly highlights the fine natural beauty of this. Yeah, you know, we'll go a bit too fast there. But yeah, again, as you see, big easy fields. Okay, technically we've ended here, but. No one needs to know who we want to win. But yeah, so decent horsepower stuff. We'll get away with two big as like, like massive headers and that on the combines if you don't have the horsepower to match it. So something like the new Holden C90 mod, I can have the was it C990 or C1090. That'd be very good. The Colossus Harvesters and that, and all that kind of stuff. That will match this new problem with 3000 horsepower. Anyways, park it up, switch the engine off, and this is your final cell point. Wait for it, that doesn't work. So, this is going to be your main cell point. So, if you go up here, have a look, cell point 2. Then you've got your biomass heating plant and your potato cell point. So, have a little look here. So, potatoes, that is sold around the corner. Ah, right. Simple dry through bowl. Dump it in here. And, yeah, I do think there's like a ramp or anything. Nope. Let's have a little look. But now you can sort of see what you do is sort of simply dump it here. And so I'll come along with the the loader and then just wheel it in, store it. And yeah, your typical biomass heat plant. And another skis muskis loader, wheel loader. And again, two more three more lorries. First four falls are gonna be one lorry. No, four, five, six lorries. But yeah, anyway, so let's head back to the pickup. And I think I'm the map tour with perhaps simply the most beautiful area I've seen on the map. So just going past the other area that you can have to create a new farm. And yeah, decent spacious and that. A bit of wood needs chopping out, but again, get some nice wood from that. So yeah, what we do actually is cut through the forest now. And yeah, so you head down here to like, like, like properly more dense, smaller-ish fields. This is what 
much gets it for me. This is where the beauty spot is. Yeah, you've got your rows and trees and that. I can kind of keep or buy and chop down. But yeah, so let's park up here. There we go, and just... Yeah, simply take in all of the sheer beauty of this map. Yeah, it's not your most overpowerful crazy maps and that, maybe, but at the end of the day, it is a simple map, study map, beautiful, detailed. And yeah, pretty much apart from that, can't say more. And that's where I'm gonna leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed this. If so, smash that button. Third freaking down below. If you will share us then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed channel yet, then please consider. But, very to do, hope you're nice day, but for now, Sweet Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.